Yeah, playing Arsenal is kind of cool, but like, look at this gun, and then look at this. Whew. Yeah, today I went to a gun range called Heli Bacon, and uh, the guys there were really cool. Got to fire a lot of automatic weapons, and every single gun that I show in the video is from Arsenal. So it was really cool to see the game counterpart, and then I show you the in real life counterpart. Now, I just want to make it very clear that in this video, this was filmed on a private gun range. All automatic weapons here are legal, and they are not modded. I am trained to use these weapons. I have trained professionals around me at all times as well for safety reasons. No custom rounds were used, modded, stuff like that. None of that was used. All of this is legit. Just wanted to clear out there just to make sure we're all on the uh, same page here. But yeah, all these weapons look really good, man. All right, I'm going to stop talking. Just going to start the video now. Enjoy. Please, watch it all. It's really good the stuff. gun? This is the... MP5. Uh, the one in game doesn't come in this weird brick thing, but uh, I decided that was cool to fire this brick thing. So, so that's gonna be really cool. I'm just turn this little auto real quick. Go. Close this case up. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna fire this brick now. <laughs> All right, this one is the Maximum Nine, which is pretty much the same thing in game, but this one's a bit more gray. The one in game is black. Uh, this one is not semi, it goes full burst, so we're going to see how, how this gun does. <laughs> this one is the Uzi. This, how, uh, this one has a stock on it. I'm going to be firing with the stock just because it's more easier to control, I guess. Let's see how it goes. Nice. This is the P90. I'm only gonna be shooting 30 rounds instead of the 50 rounds that it would normally take, but it's still fun to shoot. And uh, this is very odd to hold in real life compared to in game. You would think it's fun to hold, but it's it's not. It feels extremely weird. Ooh. This right here is a PPSH. It would normally have a drum round mag, but we just got a stick mag inside there. But still a very cool looking weapon. And uh, let's see how it goes. Nice. This right here is the UMP or UMP45. Just like in game, looks exactly the same. Not really much you have to change. Other than I guess the fire selector right there is much more uh, clear. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> and what we got here is an M2 carbine. Warning game is an M1, but pretty much gonna be the same thing for the most of the part. L little stick mag right there. And it should perform a lot better than it does in game. I forgot the one in game is, is just semi. <laughs> this is the AR-15. The one in game is the MK-18. I'm like, this is basically the same stuff. Uh, in terms of the colors, a little grip you got here. Well, the one in game has a little triangle grip. But still the same stuff. So really cool. Self to fire. Alright. <laughs> this right here is the G36. Same thing as you see in game, except this one's a clear see-through mag. Other than that, it's going to be the same exact thing you fire in your little game you play. Fog. AK-47. Uh, it's not actually in the game yet. It will be soon, though. So we'll just call it and say that for sure it's in the game. A very, very cool gun. A nice, a nice classic, man. This should have a lot of recoil. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, lots of recoil. Uzi, the one we fired before is the micro, so it's pretty much just a full size one. I believe the one in game is has a stock on as well, but uh, 
so cool, cool looking. So, nice. This right here is the Tummy Gun, or rather the Thompson 1928. But um, we got ourselves a little stick mag right here, a little 20 pounder. You know, it's not as cool as a big drum mag, but still cool to fire. Oh. <laughs> like the one from uh, in games. This right here is the Og Stator Og. Uh, clearly, it's not supposed to be white. Uh, the one in game is green, but same stuff really. Although it's weird, um, the one in game is supposed to have these sights on, but uh, doesn't. All right. Ooh. Got here a nice Scar H. Uh, one game has a giant scope on it. Should be shooting a little hollow little sound on that. Uh, fun fact: the one in game does not really show how much recoil these things have. Oh man, that wasn't that bad. Got the foul here. Uh, I actually hate this a lot in game. The spread is terrible, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this uh, to fire personally. Uh, there's no brown little wood stock. No, it's just black. All of it's black. It's a junior one. Looks really nice, man. Oh. <laughs> this is the Chris Vector. This fires really fast. It looks really nice, man. Uh, the one in game is gray. This one's black, but same stuff, really. And look, it comes with a sight, too. Oops, mag injected. Oh, I clicked on the mag. The uh, mag thing was on the same spot where you could rip. That's a nice design. Oh. This here is the M14. Look at that. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, ones in game are semi, but much funner if they were full auto, man. FM9. The one in game I think is called the little G version. It's a little thing you fall down stuff, but it's kind of the same build, but but just a different ticket. As you can see, there's a box magazine on, on here, or a little baggie rather, and it's belt fed instead. Alright. See how I do. Not that bad at all. All right, now it's clear. This right here is a Glock 18. Uh, clearly, the one in game does not have all this weird stuff on it, but it's the same thing inside here. It just looks a lot more beefier than normal. <laughs> Malfunction. All right, it's clear again. It's a bit of a bug. Yeah, the uh, shell got caught in the thing. M249 saw. Uh, typically, in games, you wouldn't bounce around like a bunny and just start spamming that. Uh, you have to really lay down with these guns. Uh, some people, yes, you can fire standing up. Uh, this right here is the normal version, not that blue crap, the one in game you see where it has the E. Appreciate sure they just reskin it because, cool, you know, want to have a blue saw. All right. First time firing this stuff. Oh, it's Pog. This is an MG42. Again, you wouldn't really flop around and jump around in games and fire this. Um, this weighs a lot, at least 20 pounds, I feel I feel like. And uh yeah man, it's gonna be some cool ass gun, man. Oh, fast fire rate. Every single game, they're not exaggerating the fire rate. Oh, 
Okay, this is the M60. Uh, there's no box. In fact, all these MGs, they didn't, ha they didn't have no box. Just a little belt. Still the same cool feel though of all these guns. This one has a sight onto it. Rove, I'd like to see a sight on a on the M60. Let's see how that works out for y'all guys. Okay. I'm gonna fire this. Oh. Oh man, that was plug. The M2 Brownie. Uh, the one in game is the M1919 A3 or A4, I think. This is pretty much the bigger step up of that gun. As you can see, it's uh, me sitting down on this ground, not just jumping around with that gun. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much the bigger version of that gun. And let's see how it goes. mini gun uh it stood up all this tripod stuff because these are not at all lightweight Whew. it's gonna fire very fast 